We are talking to Mr. Paiotis Mihalos, Secretary General of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Greece for International Economic Relations. And I would like to ask you the first question. What is the situation of the trade balance between Greece and Romania? First of all, let me thank you very much for the opportunity to speak to our friendly Romanian people. And when I say friendly, it is an understatement because I would like to let everyone know that it is in Romania that the first ideas of uh, the Greek independence from the Ottoman Empire uh, came into being and uh, it gave us time to organize and rebel and win our independence from the Ottoman Empire. So I thank the Romanian people for doing that for us. Now in terms of your question, our trade balance, our trade uh, uh, volume is in uh, good levels. Uh, having had increases both in 2013 and now in 2014, we are at a level of 1.2 billion, about 550 exports from you to Greece and 650 million exports from Greece to Romania. So it's at a very, very good level, but at a level that we can build on. So the future is very bullish uh, for the Greek-Romanian uh, uh, trade volume. And one of the reasons why I'm here is to talk to your government and increase uh, the economic relationship that we have. Uh, I would like to ask you something uh, which uh, regards the sectors. Uh, what are the sectors in the Romanian economy that could attract the Greek investors? Well, Greek investors are very strong investors in Romania historically, and especially the last two years that you, as Greece, uh, we both need foreign direct investment. I understand our Greek investors in Romania are the fifth largest uh, investors uh, in Romania uh, in having invested, I believe, over three and a half billion uh, euro in the Romanian market. Real estate is one sector. Uh, that, they, that they have invested um, and they continue to invest. But another area that uh, hopefully you will be able to develop is energy. You have discovered uh, uh, deposits, uh, natural gas deposits, as we also have in the Aegean. So that is a new sector uh, that uh, can really take off our economic uh, uh, relations. There are Greek companies, Greek investors that can take part in your energy program. Okay, thank you. Uh, what are the sectors of Greek economy that could be of interest for the Romanian investors? Uh, there are many, many opportunities in Greece given that we are exiting now a six-year recession. Uh, we have uh, embarked on a major privatization program. So there are many assets and state-owned enterprises that are being tendered that the Romanian investor can participate. Real estate is one big sector uh, that they can uh, invest in, uh, as well as tourism. Uh, tourism is a major bilateral relation that we have. Uh, I would like to point out that over 800,000 people, Romanian people, Romanian friends, visited Greece this year. A, a significant amount. Uh, therefore, you are very, uh, uh, you know very well the Greek society, the Greek people, the Greek climate, and I would invite your investors to come and invest in the major touristic product that we are privatiz privatizing through the privatization process. Thank you very much. Uh, how are you attracting foreign investors? That is a major uh, issue and that is something that uh, uh, we can also work with you and give you some know-how because we go back a long time in trying to uh, attract foreign direct investors uh, and uh, lately very successfully. Uh, priority is stability, stability of the system. It is a clarity of the system. It is consistency of the system. You might, we have done and we are doing significant structural reforms in order to become very investment friendly. Uh, we, as well as you, uh, must be open to foreign direct investment because that is how you get growth. 
and that's how you can lower any unemployment one may have. So the primary way of uh, encouraging foreign direct investors outside the opportunities that exist through the privatization program is the structural reforms to make the climate investment friendly, not only for the foreign direct investors, but the local investors as well. It's a must for any nation, any country that needs to go economically forward. Thank you. And um, what is the most important investment project that is underway at this moment in Greece? As I mentioned, uh, we have embarked on a major uh, privatization program. One major project we recently tendered and uh, uh, an investor has been initially selected as the preferred bidder is the old Athens airport. The old Athens airport is a seven billion development project, multi-use, and that was recently tendered and successfully uh, only about uh, a, a few months ago. Another area which may also, another project that, uh, of significance that could be of interest to uh, uh, Romanian investors and it's large is the railroad privatization that we are beginning soon. You are for the first time in Romania? This is my first time in Romania. And your uh, impressions? The first impressions? Very short because uh, I cut actually my trip to the Far East. I, I, I'm, I'm here directly from Tokyo. I cut my trip there one day short in order to be here, so I haven't seen anything yet. So I'm expecting after this interview uh, <laughs> to see some <laughs> to be able to something of Bucharest. And you are leaving? I'm leaving tomorrow morning. So only a few hours. In, in a few hours, unfortunately, responsibilities are such in a very dynamic, moving world that we have to be in many places at the same time. So I thank you again for this interview, and I wish you a nice stay uh, here in Bucharest for a few hours for these few hours, and I wish you also um, uh, to have the opportunity for a new visit, a longer visit in Bucharest. It was a pleasure uh, to be able to talk to you, and uh, have a nice evening. Thank you, and I hope so. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.